Hey YouTube, John Media. We've got another graphics card video today. And uh, today's video is going to be a little different. We've got some uh, uh, captures of Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, ever since I did this first video uh, on the RX 580, I've uh, become suddenly quite a obsessed with building computers. Uh, it turns out that it's fun. In fact, I didn't realize how good of a card this was until I bought this. A GeForce RTX 2060, the Gigabyte model. And um, there it is. Bought this one new, $320. RX 580, 8 gigabytes. GTX 2060. So real quick, uh, it was brand new. So, I mean, it's not dirty, obviously, but I like taking things apart. So I'm going to take it apart. There we go. And this little thermal pad is peeling away. Just lay down there, here, lay, lay on your spot and be okay with it. There you go. Well, anyway, okay, so here is the cooler. Nice and, nice and cheap. We got some, got some cleaners. All right, now you see the uh, thermal paste on the edges. Don't worry about trying to get that off there because uh, it's not gonna hurt anything, but you could hurt it. Uh, you could easily break something on the edge of that uh, die thing. So that's pretty much close enough. This is a TU-106-200A-KA-A1. The TU 106. So we'll just get some new uh, compound on there. Let's give it a little squirt compound right about here. Alright, and then make sure your thermal pads are in place and you got the both surfaces good and clean. Same old, same old there. Make sure the fans are plugged in because that would, that would, uh, make for a warm experience and that's all there is to it I recommend I, I, I would recommend taking you got a brand new card and you're not scared you're not scared of taking it apart you may want to take it apart and clean off the uh, factory compound because you know who knows how long it's been on there and uh, like I said this was a brand new card and the compound I had was uh, all dry and crunchy like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here so we'll get into the the video capture coverage here in just a second all right the rig we're using contains a Ryzen 7 3800x uh, 8 thread or 8 core 16 thread processor 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz RAM uh, on a B450F gaming motherboard. And we'll start off with the RX 580. Um, this is the Radeon software uh, menu. We'll just take a little glance, a little gander here at the current settings we've got and uh, hardware specs. And I've got MSI Afterburner. Obviously, it's running right here. You can see you're running at 1340 megahertz core clock and a little over uh, 2000 on the uh, memory clock. We'll just move this over here and take a gander at the settings. Um, we'll turn the settings down a little bit so that we have a playable frame rate. And then we'll just take a quick gander at all these little settings here. Um, unlock that. And uh, here we go. See all this stuff. But, um, yeah, confirm. So we'll just dilly-daddle around here for a little bit. 
and uh, you can see the frame rate counter in the top right of the screen. And uh, she's a little chuggy, and yeah, so you can run around. Uh, my Arthur's going to misbehave here in a little bit. Um, here, get lasso. Get down here. 28 frames. So yeah, uh, 70 degrees Celsius, 71. Um, I guess that's, I mean, it's not like throttle, uh, uh, thermal throttling or anything yet. So. Pretty basic yep. experience. Uh, wanted for murder. Yeah, good boy. Let's go over to this camp here and kind of torture this guy a little bit and take his stuff to hog time and take all his crap. <laughs> Yeah, the card's getting a little warmer, 73 degrees. Well, we got Whoa, shit! Get lost, will you? Let me go. Come on, let me go. Uh, no, no, no. Way to take that. Uh, gun oil. Mm -hmm. No. You look like a beached fish. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to him. For Flopping a bit. around like that. Just try to relax, will you? Yeah. Yeah, it's, he's sitting here, staring at the ground. It's it's running at a solid 55 frames. <laughs> but then you look around and it really bogs it down. So I say we uh, we'll switch over to the other card. There we go. A little bit of hardware switcheroo. Now we've got the Gigabyte RTX 2060 installed into the computer. And go in here and. There you go. The, the settings are the same compared to the other card. Um, now this one, this one's at a disadvantage because it's only got six gigabytes of VRAM as opposed to eight. Um, for three hundred and twenty dollars, I I wish I could get eight gigabytes on this card, but it is what it is. So that's kind of restraining us on the settings. Um, let's go ahead and get Afterburner back up here. Come here, Afterburner. There you are. Now this card is running a lot faster. Um, we're over two gigahertz on the core clock and seven and a half gigahertz on the memory clock. Uh, the RX 580 has a GDDR5 memory and this one has GDDR6 memory. It can run a lot faster on this card. Obviously, both these cards have been overclocked. You're looking at my sliders right now. So we're just going to smoke some cigarettes and ride this horse around and lollygag around and see what happens. Um, instead of 30, mid-30s to 40 FPS, we're looking at mid to upper 40s, um, maybe over 50 sometimes, so you see this card is working better. And Arthur's going to be a dick. There he goes. I think we're going to make a Molotov cocktail and beat these guys. Oh, okay, I'll go. Yeah. There you go. Easy there. That's it. There, just drop down. You won't have time to bury you. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Was you? Let's do some Halo tea bag. There you go. Look, Arthur's proud. 40 FPS. Um, it's still not throttling. I don't think. We're still over 2 gigahertz in the core clock. And, uh, and we're really pushing 80 degrees. So let's just ride around for a little bit. Maybe we can. Yeah. Okay, you see, it's. Uh, it throttled a little bit right there. But anyway, yeah, let's just poke around and you, you kind of get the gist of what I was talking about, at least for this game. Um, a $90 RX 580 compared to a $320 RTX 2060. Uh, gigabyte version. It's not really worth it. So, there you go. Overall, that's that's the gist of it. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. From up here The world seems small We can sit too